Hello everyone, welcome to Foster Family Fun. I hope you all are doing well out there. We are doing great over here. This is another land video. We are updating you guys on everything that we have going on here and the Rory's are right behind me. I'm going to catch up with them and we're going to give you a walkthrough to show you, you know, some of the new things, some of the improvements. Everything is an improvement every single time we come out here when something's new going on because it's an improvement because it came from nothing. We started with nothing. <laughs> Complete raw land, undeveloped. No one's ever lived on here before. It is 10.42 acres and we are in North Florida. So it's a full construction site, you guys. So of course you saw before where they have cleared. We got a porter potty out here now for all the workers. And over here right behind Rory, there is a dumpster on our site. And you guys saw the docu box from before when we first came out here and showed you right after they cleared. And this area is our house area. So Rory and I are just going to talk to you about everything that's going on here. Welcome to our driveway. <laughs> this path is going to be concrete. And you're going you're to be able to pull both vehicles inside our uh, garage. Yes, this is our garage. Little Rory is, well, he's kind of standing in the garage yep. right now. So, so far, Rory's standing in the garage. And we have, you guys see these bricks? This is, what do they call this? A stem wall. Stem wall. So what, what happened was there was uh, elevation differences. So we were first going to get a just a flat slab, a monolithic slab. But then if you look and they started staking everything, I don't think it's on this pole, but they had different measurements written down. So like one side, this side of the area is larger, is lower than that side over there. So it's a, I don't know, you know, I'm not a construction person. So <laughs> it's a little bit complicated for me to explain just because this isn't, you know, my area of expertise, but pretty much. It's not a level land. It's not level land. So they have to build up in order to get it level for one area. Yes, and because of that, we had to build a stem wall. Yep. So, and my parents had to do the same as well. So that's why you see all of these bricks um, stacked up here. So what do they still have to do? They still are going to have to so fill gotta, it. They got to fill it in with more sand in order to get it up to a certain level. And then concrete. And then concrete, and then put the, uh, yes, the concrete uh, slab on there. And then do the framing and stuff. So right now we just have this the stem wall which has been inspected and has passed inspection so right now you guys we're standing in the garage y'all are in our garage <laughs> and you see all the rebar so what's this part right here okay a structure is headed from the ground up to the actual slab so okay doing. to connect the garage to the house yes and little rory is walking in our house right now yep. so pretty much that's what we have going on you guys I'm going to hop over to the house portion. The house portion. And you'll see that they had to, uh, you know, some of the bricks, there's more over here, less over here. Elevation difference. Yes. So it looks like a big deal, but once the house is built, you won't be able to tell any of any difference which is the reason why we have the stem wall because you don't want to be able to tell a difference and you don't want to be sloping in your house and you don't want like 10 years from now to <laughs> I don't know your roof or something starts sinking in you get a sinkhole in your house yeah we don't want anything falling in so that's what we have right now and you guys I'm spinning you around we're walking in our house we are walking in our house and this back here, it actually looks large now that I'm in it. But this back here where Rory is standing, from where little Rory is, this part of the concrete, to what Rory is standing in, all of this is our back patio. 
So I'm very excited. Now, yes, the trees and stuff, they still have more stuff they're going to have to clear out all around. But this is what we have so far on our section of the land for our house. The stem wall is ready to go. Hopefully we have some good weather coming up and they'll be able to get everything filled, get everything concrete and have the foundation ready. So soon within a few weeks we can um, start getting the framing up. So now I am gonna walk with you. Oh, I wanna show you guys something that I noticed. I think maybe Rory noticed it. How can I get out of this thing, Rory? <laughs> I don't want to be hopping across no big window. old wall. Uh -huh. Through the window. <laughs> okay. Window. Through the window. Yes, please get my hand. Help me. Oh, Rory just be jumping like he in the Olympics or something. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to show you guys that I didn't notice and Rory showed it to me and I was like, oh my goodness. So if you see the way the brick is curved right here. This is where I'm going to have my bay window. So <laughs> I was really excited about that. I was like, oh, it's so cute. I, can't, I, I wanted a bay window, you guys. I have wanted a house with a bay window for a long time. But you can see all of this now. You won't see all of this later. I mean, once they fill up and get all the la everything done, you won't see part of most of this brick and then the part that isn't covered with the field it'll have stucco on it because our whole house is going to be stucco okay so now we're going to walk over to my parents area and this will all be graded and flattened out yeah they got to fill everything up fill and everything up. flat hey this is just the beginning stage but they're going good they're going fast and they're doing good yeah, the well, you guys saw that in the last video. Which way we walking? Okay. Okay, to their garage, all right. Y'all, I'm just trying to be careful. That's why the camera is always so shaky because there's so much going on with dirt and bramble and everything around here. Let's follow Rory. Or take him to the garage, grandma's garage. Okay, so we're headed over to my parents' house, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of almost like we're walking up a little bit of a hill. They have an elevation difference for on their area for where they're building their house to where they had to have a stem wall as well, but they also have an elevation difference from their piece of property to our piece of property where our house is. So, if you look, I'm going to turn you around. It actually, they're at a higher elevation than we are. So, it's almost like they're looking over our house. I said, ooh, I'm going to have to get me a privacy bush or something. <laughs> but we'll see once the houses get together how it all looks. But they had to have stem wall as well because different portions of their house. If you look and you see this all dig down, I'm assuming this side was lower. Yeah. Yeah. So they had to build it up higher yeah. than the other side. Yep. That is correct. So, yeah, higher elevation on this side, lower elevation on that side. The difference is, I wanna say four to six feet. Yeah, so they were thinking they were going to get a monolithic slab just like us, but they were not able to. They had to do a stem wall, which, I mean, we're talking 10 acres here, you guys. We could have decided to try to move somewhere else, but we don't know if it was going to be the same type of elevation difference. And really, when you're just walking it, you don't feel it. We didn't even notice it until they cleared it. No one noticed it until they actually cleared and got the actual measurements. Because even before when they initially cleared, you still didn't notice it until when we staked it out and everything, until the actual measurements with the elevation. So this is their area that they got cleared coming into here. And as I turn you guys around, 
this is their garage. Now their garage is a front facing garage. Our garage was a side facing garage. So all of this area is going to be cleared. You see that it still has the orange ropes around it because we have to get more cleared out here because this is actually their front yard. And this Rory is standing in their garage. Oh, I don't think I walked through theirs. They got a lot of holes. Yeah, they got a lot more dips and dents. I see their connection right here. Uh-huh. So they're going to have to take out dirt. So, so this is, it's pretty much the same, you guys. This is, I'm in their garage right now, and this is everything that Rory talked about for our house, but this is going to connect their garage to their house and make sure, make sure it's structurally sound. Come on this side, huh? I don't think I'm going to come over there. No. <laughs> I'll let you guys talk from over there. We're in their house. And you can see the elevation difference. I believe, I want to say, four to six feet. Going down all the way to, as mentioned, six to four feet. There you go. Yeah, but it's all stem walled. It's yeah. all been inspected. So um, they'll do the same thing. They'll fill. They'll do the concrete. And then once all that is done and dried, then they'll be ready to frame. And everything will be like there was no type of elevation difference whatsoever once the house is completed and we're able to move in. And they're getting a... Uh, same outside, what do you call that? Oh yeah, they're getting stucco. Stucco also, so yeah, you yeah. won't be able to tell. Nope, you won't be able to see any of the stem wall because of the filling, and it'll be stucco. And now they're in their front yard. Yep, we're in their front yard. My mama already been talking about um, her landscaping for her front yard. I don't know. She 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 has a very 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 green thumb, so she's good with stuff. So she was talking about, you know, wanting to have some roses and stuff. When we were younger, she used to have a rose garden on the side of our house. It was so beautiful. So this is their front yard that Rory's in, and then I'm going to take you guys back here because I don't think I showed you before. I just talked about it, but all of this that's cleared back here. The house, their house is right here. They have a dumpster back there as well. And over in this area, this is where their septic is going to be. So you see the yellow flag right here. And all of this is cleared. So they can decide where their septic is going to be. And then their septic will drain off over this way. And let me turn you guys around so you can see their house from the back side. All right, and that's their area right there. That's their house. So we got a lot. We've we got a lot going on. So the builders are moving along quickly, quicker than I actually thought that they would. I think Rory and I are satisfied with the progress they're making. Yes, How do you definitely. think? Yeah. Trying to fight a bug. But, uh, <laughs> definitely satisfied. Um, moving on target. You know, Florida weather is unpredictable. So yeah, but they've gotten this but much gotten, done so far. So uh, yeah, but it's gonna determine as far as the the getting everything, the foundation finished before the framing. Yeah. The weather will, you know, probably predict that or slow that up because it's been a lot of rain in this area like every single day. So we'll see how it goes, but. For all in all, I feel like we are accomplishing a lot because we were just out here uh, not too long ago, a few weeks ago, and they didn't have any of this. No stem wall, no rebar, any of this out. They've gotten the porta potty, they've gotten the dumpster. I mean, it's like full on construction site. So we're excited about it, and we are going to continue to bring you guys along with us and update you on the process. Thanks for watching.